Hello guys, in this video we're gonna share with you cost of living from different perspectives. I don't get it when a lot of people say, oh I come here, I live on 800, 1000 a month. Uh, I don't understand that. If you're homeless, you just eat Filipino food, yeah, 600, 800 you can live. But otherwise you can't. I'm living right now around 45,000 mm. pesos. One month. 60 or 70,000 uh, pesos. pesos yeah. mm -hmm. I'm spending probably uh, 100,000 pesos a month. So if you have like a $2,000 income, when you come here, it's like $6,000 a month. It was a lot cheaper than being in the U.S., that's for sure. It's a great place yeah. for retiring. So my rent, which includes internet, is 20,000 pesos. My small house, only 6,000. I have a one-bedroom apartment, and I pay 10,500 pesos for that. Mm -hmm. 15,000 for the place. If you want to eat like a Filipino, it's extremely cheap. But if you want to eat the way you ate in America, it's like four times expensive. I can eat on $18. You don't eat uh, on eatery? We mostly eat local Filipino food. So I try to spend not more than 700 a day. I... So it's kind of art of living on a budget. Artyom, I know that you are a digital nomad, yeah? And mm -hmm. you can actually spend much more than you're spending here. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's enough for you, yeah? For yeah, it's comfort, tot like... yeah, it's totally enough. Uh... In total, we spent... So, here is my friend Ali, and he agreed to tell about his experience uh, here with uh, cost of living. Uh, how long you already live here? I've been living here a year and a half, closer to two years and a year and a half, a year and like eight months. Okay. I moved here uh, about <clears throat> March of 2022, yeah. left for three months, but then I came back. Okay. And uh, you're originally from California? Cali California, Sacramento. So, uh, let's talk about your costs. Yeah, I mean, I <clears throat> I watch a lot of vloggers and <clears throat> they always have different opinions about cost of living here. So I'm going to tell you guys my situation because everybody's different yeah uh ever since i've been here i've always had my girlfriend first and then we lived together for a year and then we got married so it depends you know if it's, you just live by yourself or it's two of you it makes a big difference a lot of times people say oh it doesn't change that much i totally disagree uh, because you know it doesn't double but easily it goes up 50 60 percent so pretty much i broke it down so I came prepared because, you know, these figures are not exaggerated. Uh, they're 99% down to the teeth. So I'm just going to go slowly and kind of uh, explain how I came up with the total number at the end. My rent, which includes internet, all my numbers are in pesos. So at the end, I can convert it to dollars. So it'd be easier because that's what I pay in pesos. And at the end, I can convert it to dollars so you can see both how much total pesos and dollars. So my rent, which includes internet, is 20,000 pesos. We live in a very nice one bedroom apartment. It's in Big Rock in Valencia. A lot of people know that Valencia is one of the nicest place to live in Domenguete area. And Valencia is the third coolest city in Philippines. Baguio is number one, I forgot the number two, but Valencia is the third coolest city. So it makes a huge difference for me because to be honest, the first year I almost left three times because people don't share this with you. In here it's hot and it's humid. I mean, I'm from Sacramento, I'm used to the heat, but I'm not used to the humidity. The first six months I was sweating nonstop. So twice I said, there is no way I can live here. But everybody kept saying, take it easy, your lungs are gonna get used to it. It took me one year for my lungs to get used to it. So you gotta be patient because if you're not used to humidity, you're gonna freak out. <laughs> so like I said, my rent, which includes internet is 20,000. Then water, gas, and electricity is about 6,000. I pay 1,000 for parking. And then for gas, because we do have a car and a motorbike, for gas and insurance on car and motorbike is about 8,000. I am a heart patient. I had four heart operations the last 18 years, five heart attacks total. So I'm on nine different medications. 
and the cost of my medication per month is 10,000 peso. And because of my situation of heart disease and diabetic, I see my doctor every three months, and he usually sends me to do lab work on my blood, urine, and x-ray on my heart. So on average, I spend about 5,000 peso per month on that. Then in here, we do laundry. We take all our clothes to the laundry mat, and that's about 2,000 peso per month. Uh, since I'm married, uh, I agreed from day one that I give allowance to my wife. That way she can buy whatever she wants to buy, clothes, purse. Because you know women in here, they love clothes, they love shoes, they love purses, makeup stuff. So I give her 10,000 peso per month. And I tell her, if you want to give a portion of that to your family, it's up to you. So a lot of times she pretty much splits the money, gives 5,000 to her mom and keeps the other 5,000 for expenses. So that way I don't have to worry about if she wants to buy something. And this way I thought she would learn how to budget in general. Mm -hmm. And then grocery. This is where the big one is. I was just telling Alex, in US, your biggest cost is your rent and your health insurance. In here is your food. I cannot eat Filipino food. I'm sorry to say that. I get sick. You know, I get sick whenever I eat Filipino food. So I'm very particular when it comes to food. We do eat like the Western foods. So Western food, if you come here, there is a huge difference about food. If you want to eat like a Filipino, it's extremely cheap. But if you want to eat the way you ate in America, it's like four times expensive. So this is our cost. We go grocery shopping twice a week, and we go fruits and vegetable shopping twice a week. So four times a week, we go shopping for food. And we spend about 10,000 peso per week on grocery shopping, which comes to about 40,000 peso per month. And then on average, we eat out three nights a week and two lunches. So on average, we eat five days, five meals. And another thing that I feel like is different here, in US, I used to eat two meals a day. I used to have a breakfast and a late lunch, early dinner. In here, because there is no preservatives, there is no extra junk in the food, you know, so it's like you go through food much faster. In here, we have at least three meals a day with a snack. So we have seven breakfasts, seven lunch, seven dinner. Get prepared. When you come here, you eat more than you eat in the U.S. And I think because of all the preservatives in the U.S., when you eat something, it sits in your stomach. In here, you eat something, two hours later, you're hungry. It just goes through you because there is no chemical added. So I would say, so grocery shopping, 40,000 per month and eating out 20,000. So, so far the total comes to 122,000 peso. So if we don't, and that's so far 122,000. Usually we travel every other month we go to different islands. In the last 15 months, we've been to seven different islands. So it's pretty much every other month, we go to different islands, because as you know, there are so many islands here. There are 13 major islands that you must see if you want to travel. So we've seen half of them already. So on average, we spend 20,000 peso on traveling. So that brings it up to 144,000 peso, which comes to $2,750 per month. So $2,750 in dollars, 144,000 pesos. Then you guys gotta remember, you know, when I moved here 18 months ago, 19 months ago, you gotta establish a life here. You know, I mean, I don't get it when a lot of people say, oh, I come here, I live on 800, 1,000 a month. Uh, I don't understand that. Yeah, if you, if you got, with all the respect, if you live, if you're homeless, and you just eat Filipino food, yeah, 600, 800, you can live. But otherwise, you can't. The first year here, I bought a brand new car, Toyota Wego, 
and I bought a brand new Honda Click. So total of those two was $15,000, which is pretty cheap compared to US. I mean, you can buy a brand new Toyota here for almost 13,500, which the same car in US is double. And the main reason the cars are more expensive in the US for two reasons, more safety features and higher taxes. So you can pretty much buy a car, brand new Toyota, for half of the price here compared to US. So that's a big plus. And motorcycles here are also half price compared to US. So combination of motorcycle and a car, we spent 15,000. Then I got married and our wedding cost 3,000. That's including- It is already dollars. Yeah. yeah, these are all dollars now. So now our wedding cost 3,000, which was including the civil and reception and the ring. And then, you know, you know, every month you have to pay immigration fee. So it's about a thousand dollars for immigration the first year. And then I bought about $2,000 in furniture. I bought a mattress, I bought a couple of couches, I bought some chicken, uh, kitchen wares. So I spent another 2,000 on that. So pretty much the first year here, I spent 21,000 on dollar on those items. So if you do the math, 2750 per month in expenses, which comes to 33,000 plus 21,000 on the car and wedding, immigration, motorbike and furniture. So that comes to 56,000 the first year, which comes to $4,700 per month. We're not done yet. <laughs> so another thing that I had to add, the first year that I came here, I went back to US twice. First time I came here, I came here for two weeks to check it out. I went back, then I came back and I stayed here for six months, which I concluded that I'm gonna live here. Then I went back and did the rest of the stuff that I had to do, like get rid of my furniture, sell my townhouse. And I was there for almost two months to make sure I take care of all that stuff. So the first year I was in Philippines, two round trip tickets, average of 2,500 each, so that's another 5,000 first year. So if you do the math, 56,000 plus 5,000, so total cost for first year was $61,000, which comes to $5,100 per month. So far so Great good. Great result, yeah. <laughs> so this is like an accurate thing, and I'm gonna give this paper to Alex. Yeah, thank you. So, you know, he, because I broke it down in detail, so I mean, so, I mean, if you're really considering moving to Philippines for good and you're planning to have a partner, either living girlfriend or marriage. Yeah, and having the same level of living, yeah? Like yeah having the same, years. and you know, actually I would say I'm living better here oh. than I live in the U.S. because since I work in the U.S., I was working like six days a week. So I wasn't home that much. I was always at work. I used to sell cars, so I used to work 60, 70 hours a week. And, but in here, I'm retired. So, I mean, so, I mean, every day is like, we have nothing to do. So you go and you know, once you come here, you know what I mean. In here, you can do a thousand times more things. There are so many waterfalls, so many ocean views, so many rivers, mountains to climb. There is so much activity, so many festivals. I mean, I would say Philippines is the happiest country on the planet. Okay. Average in a year there is like three or four months of festival, different festivals. And you can travel from one uh, city to another to yeah, visit I mean, all uh, yeah, we do, yeah, we do all the, you know, like Alex says, we do a lot of traveling between cities. And then when we want to go to different island, you hop on a ferry. Ferries are very cheap in here. Uh, you can take your motorbike, you can take your car. It's a little bit difficult, you just got to be patient. It might take hour, hour and a half to put your car on a ferry. But then you go to Baho, you go to Sikihor, you know, you go to Cebu. I mean, you can take your car or motorbike any place you go, and then you have your own transportation. And island hopping is our number one favorite thing to do. And there is a lot of fun, you know. So, I mean, I highly recommend coming here. The stress level is much, much less. And your life expectancy goes higher because the stress level people being friendly and having joy adds up. It is cheaper here to live. I always say your money triples. So if you have like a 
$2,000 income when you come here is like $6,000 a month. So you have this equivalency of that kind of lifestyle. So I feel like if you have a significant other, married or girlfriend, and you want to have a good time, $3,000 is a good money. But you got to remember, I have medical issues. So I mean, if you're a younger person and you don't have any medical issues, then $2,500 will do. Okay. Thank you, Ali, so much for your detailed answer. I really appreciate it. Sure. Here's my friends, Artyom and Dasha, and uh, I'm going to ask about his cost of living here in the Philippines. How long you already live here? We spent almost a year, or maybe a year, uh, like since November. last November year. Yeah. And how's, how is your experience here? How do you think? Is it cheap life here or expensive? Well, it depends. Like, it's uh, cheap if we talk about like houses or renting, but uh, for example, for us, uh, for food? Oh, yeah, for food, especially for fresh Veg vegetables, meat. fresh meat, uh, and other things, it's actually not not the cheapest uh, mm -hmm. place in the world. More like, expensive than Russia, actually. Yeah, yeah, like uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, potato. Uh, potato, yeah, potatoes, <laughs> carrots, onions. Yeah. yeah, so vegetables are not cheap there. So it's cheap to eat rice there and maybe what chicken. Yeah. Alcohol? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about numbers. Yeah, okay. We one mm. month we, we may... spent uh, about sixty or seventy hundred thousand thousand uh, pesos. pesos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, it's fifteen thousand for the place. So for the house, uh, we use how two, many bedrooms here? Uh, two. Two, two, two bedrooms. and the big uh, living room. Yeah. yeah. So we used to rent another place, so it was like 40,000 pesos for almost the same. Yeah. But yeah, well, it's this place is better for me. Yeah, you found a great place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, like, bills, it's uh, 1,500 for, for electricity, mm -hmm. 150 for... Do you use aircon or not? No, we, we don't use it uh -huh. at all, like we use fans and that's all we... Oh, us yeah, not. But uh, we have two yeah. air cons, uh, but we, we don't use it at all. Mm -hmm. Then 150 for water, not drinking water, but just water, because they have... Uh, I don't know. Probably. 150 pesos, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know, like squashen. Uh, deep well. Yeah, so they, they have it, uh, so we don't depend on uh, city yeah. city city pipes maybe then it's 2000 uh, for the internet for the connect connection to the internet you mean mobile or no wi it's wi-fi yeah. uh, it's wi-fi it's we, we use field products a pretty good company like uh, every time someone wants uh, about pldt or something mm -hmm. else yeah we always have the, yeah. the, the connection. For the phone, we, we pay, I don't know, like maybe 700, but for three, four, six months, because I, I bought like 40 gigabytes mm -hmm. uh, for the 700, and I, we still use it like- three, Four months? Yeah, 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 four so months. it's perfectly- Yeah. Way for- Yeah, 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 well for us. Then, uh, the drinking water. Drinking water, yeah. It's, it's about 400. 100 uh, for four bottles. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they deliver it like maybe in one hour or maybe less sometimes yeah. because they mm -hmm. uh, have like a water station. It's near. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a water station right, right near. Uh, then what else? How about uh, food outside? Food outside. It's like for us, we usually eat home at, at home. Like Mostly, because yeah. Dasha cook, cooks well. Every, <laughs> yeah. Every day, yeah. So uh, sometimes we um, go to a restaurant. Go, yeah. yeah, like uh, Moon, for example, moon, or uh, Latina. Yeah. So it, but, it depends. Uh, we don't eat uh, on eatery. Yeah, like it, it depends. So in restaurant, it's like from one thousand to two thousand. Uh, yeah. For two person, yeah. For two person, person yeah. yeah. Like uh, and it depends also. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How much you eat? <laughs> yeah. For example. You can spend way more if you go to Apollon Brewery and uh, 
like drunk. Yeah, yeah, with uh, alcohol. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what, what else? For example, in some uh, pizzeria, yeah, it's that is done. yeah, that is done. If you spend like five hundred, oh yeah, okay, six hundred for Big pizza, pizza yeah. and two beers, like uh, local beers. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we spend money for motorbike, so it's like. 40, oh, not 40, 300 pesos for, for changing the oil, mm -hmm. not, not for ah, a week, well, yeah, changing well, the oil, so it's I... It's like one time in a yeah, one, three months. No, like for me it's one time in a month, in a month because like last no, month, well, it depends also because yeah, sometimes yeah. We, we, yeah. we went to Bacalot yeah. and yeah, it's long way yeah it's yeah, better to change yeah, yeah. 2500 uh, kilometers so you, you have to you have to change yeah. the oil and sometimes you not go anywhere uh, so you don't need to and like 400 pesa a week for the gas mm -hmm. yeah like uh, we usually go to, to the gym and to to a gym and to to, to, to the city yeah, for for food or to spend some time with mm -hmm. Friends, so how much gym? Uh, gym is so it also depends on on the gym. So we usually go to two gyms, like one in uh, Darwin and one in Bakong. So for not Bakong, uh, Valencia. Yeah, Valencia, Valencia. Yeah. yeah. So in Valencia, you pay forty pesos mm -hmm. for one time. Uh, one one time, yeah. And in Darwin, you pay uh, one hundred fifty. Mm -hmm. In Dumag we, we used to uh, we used to go to Dumagetas, one of the most I don't know coolest, coolest yeah <laughs> coolest uh, gym. You have to pay two hundred and fifty uh, pesos for one, for one time. time, but, but for it's, the months, cheaper. it's cheaper. It's cheaper for the month mm -hmm. for the months yeah. for your months. Uh, so gyms there are not so good like for example in Russia, uh, but yeah, it also you you can compare. Uh, but it's basic. Yeah, yeah, basic. They have everything you need, like uh, maybe Waste. base furniture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but in Dumaget, yeah, it's uh, well furnitured, modern. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, with air condition because other gyms only have uh, fans. Okay, so stuff. you can find for different budgets. Yeah, 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 totally. Services. Yeah. Artyom, I know that you are a digital nomad, yeah? And mm -hmm. you can actually spend much more than you spend in here. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's enough for you, yeah? For yeah, comfort, it's to like... yeah, it's totally enough. Uh, yeah. We live in a, some rural place, so there is nothing to, to, to do, do like, except, uh, except going uh, to the beach, yeah? Also they but have, but uh, yeah. a lot of uh, things in the water, yeah, like, to do, like uh, 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 they have uh, diving, diving, diving center, diving, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like the uh, right there, yeah. Yeah, you have just great location. It's near yeah. from ocean, I don't know, yeah. less than one minute and uh, maybe three minutes uh, walking we used to, to think, main road. Yeah, yeah we used so. to think it's a quiet place. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but sometimes no? it's not. <laughs> not because, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> because, no, no, uh, because of. Uh, I don't know, like maybe celebrations. Uh, oh, that, fiestas. Uh, yeah, fiestas, yeah. because like a month, like oh. this month. Every they, week we. Every week they start to celebrate something on we Tuesday. Listen some music, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Until Monday. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's still, it's a quiet, quiet yeah. place. And yeah, it's far away from the city, so it's a clean place, it's a quiet place, yeah, yeah. and I love it, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, and I know that you lived in many countries uh, compared to other countries. How do you think? Is it worth it here, this money on this uh, yeah. level of living? Yeah, totally worth it. Uh, yeah, of course, like in big cities in Russia, you have to pay like rent. For example, we pay almost one thousand uh, dollars yeah. for like a one bedroom apartment far from the s center. Yeah. From the down, okay. da, downtown, yeah, yeah, here less than 300, yeah, you yeah, have yeah. whole house, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but, uh, but it's Russia... far away from uh, yeah. Moscow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 not only because in Russia it's cold, yeah, 
Yeah, of course. Like, uh, and you need to spend money on the clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a uh, winter uh, wire tire. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we didn't say anything about uh, buying clothes or yeah, buying clothes or shoes because, like, actually, we stopped doing this because <laughs> everything you you buy, uh, I don't know, like after two months. Yeah, months. it uh, it loses color. Yeah, it loses everything. So we decided uh, not to not to buy anything. <laughs> like. We only buy shoes because, like, uh, one time they, someone, uh, someone stole it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, and uh, that's all. So maybe sometimes we buy uh, clothes just for our friends, like with uh, prints. Mm -hmm. But yeah, clothes with prints, like really cheap. Yeah. The cheapest clothes ever. Two hundred pesos for short. For short yeah. with 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 a print. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. How about laundry? We used to use uh, laundry. First and, time. Yeah, yeah, like first month or maybe two. Mm -hmm. Then we decided to buy a washing machine with our friends. Like we bought it for three families uh, for twenty thousand uh, pesa. It yeah. was new or you? It, it was yeah. new. Like uh, yeah, and it was good. Like with uh, uh, heater with a heater. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's a good uh, washing washing machine. Not like they use in uh, laundry yeah. without yeah. a heater. And then when we moved in into this house, we also bought a washing machine for ten thousand pesos from our friends. It's a used one, mm -hmm. and it also works well sometimes. <laughs> so this investment definitely worth it, yeah. Yeah, totally okay. worth it because uh, yeah, we like to wash it like we we got used to. Yeah. Uh, Use washing machine uh, in Russia. Yeah, so in Russia, in, in any everything. apartment, yeah, 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 yeah. washing machine. Yeah. yeah, in all of them. So yeah, it, it totally worth it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Here is my friend Kirill, Cyril, and uh, I want to ask about his cost of living. He lives just right near from Dasha's and Artem's house. Yeah, near his house. Yeah. And uh, how was your experience here? Oh, I, uh, I live in the Bagita only, I don't know, 16 days. But it's nice place, peaceful, quiet, I don't know. And uh, cheap, cheap because yeah. uh, the guys rent their house around 15, around, no, 15 plus of electricity yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. But my small house, only 6,000, so that's, that's all. Yeah, it's a great deal. Uh, Whole house, less than no, one hundred dollars, little bit more. Yes, yes one hundred ten yes, maybe. So. Yeah. So how long you already here in the Philippines in total? Uh, I arrived last November. Mm -hmm. Last November, I don't remember, remember date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's almost a year close. Mm. Around year, yes, yeah. around one year. Uh, this is my fourth apartment. I live in Banilat in Bacon. In and GTGM, yeah, 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 yeah. in a room I already <laughs> recorded <laughs> to you like a year ago, <laughs> yeah. you can watch it later. So, uh, what's about your monthly expenses here? Uh, oh, if we don't speak about crisis or something like this, about course of rubbles, I think your yeah. followers don't interest me about it. Yeah, let's count yeah. in pesos or dollars. So, if uh, we count in pesos, so I, I'm living right now around 44, 45 thousand pesos mm. per month. Yeah, it's nice. So, uh, 6,000 it is your rent. Yeah? Yep. How much uh, electricity, water? Uh, actually, I still didn't get a bill because it's oh, only 60 days. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. uh, but, but before, yeah. uh, the girls who ran here before me told me that the bill, like electricity, was something around 500. Because there is no aircon on the fan, so yeah, it's really. I have, I have an aircon. Oh, but, you have? Yes, but oh. I don't use for. No, so near the beach and always windy, so. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fresh mostly. So, what else? How about groceries? <sighs> My, I have a budget a day. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I tried uh, to spend not more than 700 a day. I just try to do this. Uh, uh, it includes uh, 
markets, uh, eat areas, or something like this, because the, the guys, for example, don't like eatery, but uh, Joe is very like eatery. So yeah, we also all the time. So I already it. like eatery. So <laughs> yeah. I already find ten eatery which I like. like Favorite. Okay, but whatever. Uh, and your forty-four, forty-five thousand budget. It is for two persons or one. Yep. For two yeah. persons. No. Yes, because no, I I live with my girlfriend, so yeah. I spend this money for two. Yeah, but. For, yeah. but so, uh, how about your uh, bills in uh, restaurants, in uh, cafes? Hmm. I think around 500 for for restaurant mm -hmm. or 600, something like this. If you go, why not? Of course, it can be 1,000. So yeah, but, because so there that, is a drinks. That's, yeah. <laughs> so that's why my uh, day's budget only 700, because I just keep 300 each day, because someone will spend it. Oh, on a special day. <laughs> <laughs> on, a spe on another special day, yes. Okay, yes. Um, how about internet? Do you have Wi-Fi here? Yes, uh, we share with the guys internet, so I pay only 1k for internet and the guys also. Okay. okay. So, uh, do you use uh, laundry or your go girlfriend help you? Uh, yeah, no, with the white uh, t-shirts or something like this, uh, Joy prefer to do, to do it. With like, stains? Yes, uh, but we use laundry, yes, no, it's, I think not more than 500 a month. Yeah, how about your transport? Uh, did you buy a new bike or used? Uh, I buy the used uh, bike yeah. uh, around uh, sixty thousand uh, Yamaha Aerox. Mm -hmm. I spend maybe two two tanks a week, no, so it's around four hundred fifty a week. Mm -hmm. you always want to order something in Lazada, in Shopee, yeah, e uh, yeah. new dress, uh, new things that I don't want, how we can use it, or something that we already can do in garbage immediately. Something very important thing. <laughs> yes, yes. So I did. I never calculate, calculate it because it's harm me too much. <laughs> too much. So I think um, few K months. Maybe five, yeah. Mm, depends. Yeah, because delivery <laughs> each uh, each uh, product you need to pay separate delivery. Yep. Uh, yeah, good. so amazing. Even you get two products at one delivery, you still pay for each delivery. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Sure. I think uh, that's all. Mostly How thing. about your life here? Uh, are you contented with uh, this uh, level of uh, life? Of um. Yeah, it's something. It looks looks like easy, easy, easy life. Yeah, simple, simple easy life. Simple easy life. Yes, I like it. I feel comfortable. Thank you for your experience. Uh, appreciate your story. Sorry for my English. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you so much. We already record cost of living. Uh, when I was single, uh, we showed you places and costs and prices, everything there. So you can just watch this video later. But in this video, we will share with you uh, our cost of living now when we uh, living together, we, when we uh, waiting for baby. And uh, of course, our life changed, uh -huh. but we still on a budget because uh, baby is our priority. So it's kind of art of living on a budget. Uh, yeah, we mostly cook at home. Uh, and let's talk about our costs. Uh, we want yeah. to Firstly, say thank you to Justin because thank he Justin. he helped us uh, a lot and he found place for us house. Actually, it's a big house, but this house under renovation. So uh, while this house under re renovation, we just paying for rent uh, as we just paying for electricity bill. Yeah. So we calculated all our spends uh, during three months in a budget budgeting up, uh, then divided by three and got the average result per month. Our house, $199. It includes um, electric bill, $47. Uh, we paying for our electricity and also for our workers. Uh, so we don't use aircon, but our workers using drill. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we pay $7 uh, for gas mm -hmm. for our stove. 
internet. We don't use uh, Wi-Fi at home, but we use uh, data uh, like uh, Globe and Smart. So it costs $20 per month. Our food, $216. It includes groceries, $98. Mm -hmm. Fruits, $53. Cafe, I mean food outside, everything. Cafe, carinderia, restaurants. Mostly it's carinderia. It's eatery, uh, local food. Uh, yeah, we mostly eat local Filipino food. Yeah. My wife is Filipina, yeah, so yeah. we cook Filipino food and eat outside Philippine, Filipino food as well. And fish, $14. Drinking water, 27 cents per uh, galoon. bottle galoon yeah. for yeah, cooler. Galoon. Yeah, we order, order several uh, galoons per months it cost in total two dollars yeah for laundry we didn't do it outside like going to the laundry shop we just do i just do it by myself because um i'm not contented with the quality after they wash it because if there's a stain they cannot get it in there so i should need to wash it again so i need to do it by myself yeah, yeah. but uh, if you will use laundry it will cost yeah. about uh, seven uh Kilo, five dollars. Five dollars per seven kilo. Yeah, maybe some other people like go to laundry because they're tired, because they have work. But me, yeah. just just wash it bit by bit so that you, you know, you you cannot wash a lot of clothes. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, just for me. Okay, transport, $24 per month. Uh, I have my own bike, uh, so I spent only on gasoline and uh, oil changing. Yeah, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, really cheap. And uh, I bought this bike about a year ago. Uh, it's this Honda Airblade. It cost me two thousand mm dollars. I didn't uh, count this money in this uh, budgeting. Yeah. Yeah. So it was in another video. Mm -hmm. Our pregnancy. It's not like uh, you go into spend, but it's our spend, and we spent in a three months three hundred eighty-one dollars for yeah. vitamins, prenatal checkup, for prenatal tests. And um, we also went to dental clinic and spent there $177. Uh, for your understanding, it's about $25 per one dental filling. Uh, work, my work $27. It includes uh, apps for editing and the music. So, and some accessories for GoPro mm -hmm. and other spends uh, like uh, flight to Manila, uh, visa, clothes, other spends uh, were uh, 111 dollars per month. Mm -hmm. My visa cost uh, 35 dollars per month. It is tourist visa. It is average, but uh, this month I spent 195 dollars because I. Uh, extended for six months. So different visa cost different prices. And if you're interested about interested about tourist visa, you can watch this video on my channel. I will put link in the description. You can also watch video about uh, prices for food in a groceries. We already made this video about half year ago, but prices mostly the same. So you can watch it later. Yeah. In total, we spent. In a three months is $2,335 or $738 per month. Yeah, as you can see, it is uh, really low. Uh, it is art living on a budget. So we're trying to... Um... Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Sorry. That's okay. So we're trying to eat uh, local food. We're trying to cook at home. We don't... Uh, go on um, fancy restaurant fancy yeah, yeah restaurant and uh, vacation somewhere yeah. on another islands yeah but uh, i want to ask you if uh, you would have more money uh where you go into spend it um i've been going to spend it for our baby hmm. yeah no That's need good. to go somewhere like still like um for me uh, i i'm a habit travel like i like to travel but yeah, we have responsibility now. Yeah, you're right. Not like we're single, we can go somewhere everywhere. So. Yeah, our average uh, bill in a restaurant, in a cafe, if it's Karinderia, Italy, 
It is about 200 pesos. It is four dollars average. Uh, and if we spend time with our friends somewhere in a cafe, like pizza, it costs about 10, 15 dollars. It is all for two persons. So uh, it is about thousand, maybe. No, not thousand. It is about 800 pesos. So like 10, 15 dollars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's my friend Danny, and I'm going to ask him about his cost of living here in the Philippines. How long are you already here? I got here in January, so it's been, what, uh, nine months now. Nine months. And you originally from what state? From Arizona. I moved here from Arizona. Okay. And what's your experience here? Uh, is it uh, expensive life here or cheap? It was a lot cheaper than being in the U.S., that's for sure. It's a great place yeah. for retiring because your retirement income isn't nearly as big as it is when you're working. Yeah. So it was really a much more comfortable move. Uh, before you came here, you had some expectations. Uh, did it much when you come here or you were surprised about some prices maybe? I did a lot of research before I came for a couple of years. So I was, I was pretty, uh, pretty sure what I was going to run into. Mm -hmm. I know it's not the case for everybody, but I really didn't have a whole lot of surprises. Um, sometimes things cost a little bit more than I expected, and other times a few things cost a little less, but in, in the wash, mm -hmm. it's all been really about what I expected. Okay, let's talk about numbers. Uh, do you know your monthly budget, like average? Well, I'm going through some different, I'm, I'm doing some different things uh, that other people probably wouldn't do. Yeah. But basically, you know, my rent is, uh, I have a one bedroom apartment and I pay 10,500 pesos for that. Mm -hmm. It's a little under 200 US dollars. Yeah. Um, is it good apartment with air con? It has air con, yeah, it has air con in the bedroom and it's, it's strong enough to cool off the whole place. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, coming from Arizona, I don't find this place to be too hot. Yeah. It's actually hotter in Arizona. Mm. A little more humid, but it's, you know, temperature wise, it's, it's just fine for me. Good. Um, and then I have a van, mm -hmm. and I, I drive everywhere in the van. It uh, take a gas probably lasts me two weeks. And it's about a thousand five hundred pesos to fill it up. So it's about three thousand per month. Yeah, about three thousand per month. Okay. Yeah. But do you drive only one, or you also have a bike? I have a motorcycle. I recently I haven't been driving it because of the, I'm getting spoiled with the van. I have the air conditioning yeah. and the and the radio. It's more easy to carry things. But the bike is even less. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much was uh, your one and bike here? The van I paid 165,000 pesos for, it. Mm -hmm. um, and I forget the conversion. Somewhere around a little over 4,000 mm -hmm. dollars U.S., which you can't hardly buy a used car in the U.S. for that. And it was brought up to almost like new standards, new mm -hmm. paint, new upholstery. Everything was brought up, so it's a, it's a great little van. Uh, is it easy to drive here? I mean, to park here, to, uh, well, to drive in the narrow streets. Right. Well, this is a, a not it's not a big vehicle, so I can squeeze in where a lot of other cars mm -hmm. cannot. Um, but once you learn how to navigate the place, it, it's it's not that hard to get around. Mm -hmm. Plus, I keep reminding myself, hey, you're retired. You don't have to be anywhere yeah. in a hurry. And if you do, you just, yeah. leave, just, just leave early and, and you don't have to hurry anywhere. Parking wise, it's a little harder to find parking for the car as it is for the, the motorcycle. Yeah. But it's it's usually manageable. Um, a lot of times uh, if I go to the mall, I'll just go to the parking lot and just pull over to the side and sit there for maybe five minutes or so and somebody be leaving and there'll be a slot to go in. It's not hard to get. I don't find it hard to get parking at all. You said uh, you have aircon in your apartment. Do you know your uh, payment for electric and water? Yeah, electric is about a little under four thousand pesos, which um, and I use a lot of. I use the air conditioner a lot. Yeah. Um, 
It's a window type, yeah? Like, no, it's oh, a split oh, unit. Split? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's really nice. Um, let's say 4,000 pesos is probably uh, about $80 a month. Yeah. And in Arizona, I was paying, you know, anywhere from 300 so 300 350 a month for AC there. Yeah. So it's a big difference. Um, what your uh, costs uh, for uh, groceries and for food outside? Groceries, I probably pay about, I don't eat at home as much, but I probably pay about maybe 6,000 pesos a month for groceries. Mm -hmm. And um, I can eat on uh, 1,000 pesos a day, which is... Uh, about eighteen eighteen dollars. Mm -hmm. so that's that's two, two meals. Yeah? yeah, it's a couple meals. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and, and coffee or whatever. Oftentimes I only eat one meal, uh, but I'll go somewhere. I'll have coffee and, and uh, you know, hang out. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that you pay a little bit for that, but it's it's nothing like uh, like the prices back home. Yeah. How do you think uh, your amount of money per month uh, is it worth this life, this level of life in the Philippines, or it's expensive or it's cheap? Oh, it's very much worth it. I I live I live quite comfortable. I mean, uh, not like a rich person, but I have all the things that I need. I got you know, hot, cold, running water, a nice place to stay, got good transportation. Uh, I can eat whatever I want, whenever I want, and it's. Uh, it's much, much cheaper. Do you, do you have uh, Wi-Fi in your apartment or not? Yes, I do. Yeah. It's included here in price? No, it was not included in price. I pay extra for that. But I think, and that's, uh, and that's fiber optic also. So I think I pay... About 2,000 maybe? About 2,000, yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe which is like $40, 40, Forty-three dollars a month American, so uh, and, and Wi-Fi back there is over a hundred. And you're here on retirement visa or on tourist visa? Right, I right am on tourist visa. Tourist visa. Yeah. So it's about thirty-five dollars per month. Tourist. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did I ask you about total months? Uh, Not, uh, yeah, uh, total. Um, well, because of the things I'm doing, uh, which is more than sometimes more than other people, I'm spending probably uh, 100,000 pesos a month. Yeah. yeah for, it's only for you or with your girlfriend? I have a girlfriend and, and you know, and I, I help out with that. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, I'm also, I'm going around and uh, different places and playing music and things. Yeah. And, and we don't make money at that, we actually spend money. <laughs> But it's, you know, it's, it's good entertainment, it's good yeah. fun. Yeah, I know you have really uh, saturated life here with uh, music band, with uh, hiking uh, on the waterfalls and uh, exploring oh, it's, places. It's, gosh, you never run out of things to do if you've got yeah. an open mind. And, of course, I have a lot more friends here than I've ever had because everybody here that's your friends, they have more time. You know, to spend together and to do outings and yeah. you know cookouts and meet at restaurants and things like that. So it's it's you never run out of things to do. I'm always uh, in fact I'm hardly ever home except at night. I get up in the morning and I leave and I'm, I'm you know hopping from here to there just doing things. Just going away, yeah. Just just going yeah. going and going and going. But there's no stress. There's no pressure. It's just this is what I want to do. I'm out doing yeah. you know things I enjoy. Yeah, anytime you can just go home and yeah, rest. Yeah, I can do whatever. Um, but but you just stay busy with. There's always something happening. Somebody calls you and say, "Hey, I want to do a, a vlog on <laughs> yeah, cost. Yeah, yeah. and this is just another thing that you do during the day. You know? yeah, it just happens. It, it's yeah, it's it, for me. It's all fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like this uh, place of living. It's not in a rush, but at the same time, very saturated. Much more than my life also here in Moscow. Even Moscow, it's uh, like million. Um, people live there, I don't know, maybe 15 million or more. So yeah. it's so many people, but you really feel they're much more lonely than here. Uh, I don't know why, you just come in any place, you know someone, you talk with someone, and uh, creating some pl plants, events. So. It's, a, it's a much more friendly atmosphere here, yeah. and especially the, the people around us. Uh, the Filipino people are, are great, also. Yeah. But the but the most of the uh, the foreigners that are here, they're they're here on retirement, 
And so they're not in a rush to be anywhere, and they have time to sit and talk and visit and, and, and uh, you know, tell stories back and forth. Yeah. Thank you so much for your experience, Danny. Yeah. Maybe you want to add something about... I do, I do, because I'm, I'm, I just removed four teeth. Um, I'm going to get them redone. Mm -hmm. uh, but to have two, just two teeth pulled, it was something like uh, $4,500 uh, pesos, oh. which was, you know, way ch cheaper than having one pulled. I've had all four. And you want to put pulled. bridges? Or? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a partial in there. I'm oh. waiting on that to be made. But uh, the dental cost is like, it's so much cheaper. But uh, you don't use here any insurance, just pay cash? No, you just, yeah, you just insure yourself. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. cash. <laughs> yeah, with cash. Um, especially, you know, for, uh, for, for what it costs to do insurance. If you have a good, uh, a couple of good credit cards, even if you didn't have the money, you could just pay for it on a credit card and make payments to the credit card rather than to an insurance company. So you're really only making payments unless you need it. Yeah, and it's cheaper here. Much cheaper. Yeah, yeah. You go to the doctor here; it's you know, twenty dollars you know, to go for a doctor visit. Uh, you know, American dollars anyway. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's very important. Thank you so much for this interview and your honest opinion about Philippines. Really appreciate your time and uh, your stories. Thank you, Danny. And Danny has its, his own channel, so I will put link in the description and you can watch his events and uh, his life here. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'm not really active on it because I'm busy doing other things, but I'll be building on it. Soon. I'm sure that you will come back. Yeah, yeah, I'll be time. back with it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. So if you will have some additional questions, you're welcome in the comments. Uh, and thank you for supporting us. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for uh, your likes and your comments. Yeah, thank, thank you. you for thank you to people who support us through PayPal. We re really appreciate it. And now you know that it is really uh, important part of our monthly budget. So thank you so much yeah. for being with us. And see you in next videos. Yeah, see ya. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.